sulforaphane is, it's a compound that is made from a precursor that is found in certain types of cruciferous vegetables. So these okay. are broccoli, cauliflower, uh -huh. Brussels sprouts, uh -huh. cabbage, those types of vegetables. Um, it's really, the, the precursor is called glucoraphanin. And when you break the plant, like by chewing it or you break the plant wall, the glucoraphanin become, comes in contact with an enzyme called myrosinase that breaks it down into a compound called okay. sulforaphane. Okay. So sulforaphane, sulforaphane. Um, is really high in broccoli sprouts. In mm, fact, it's yeah. 100 times higher than mature broccoli. Wow. Sprouting broccoli is I like another broccoli option. Broccoli sprouts, yeah, yeah. Broccoli sprouts is another option. Um, I prefer to just take a, a, a supplement that yeah. uh, you have to find a good one. So there's a couple of good ones, Avmacol um, and Prostaphane okay. and Brock. They're all sort of those are like the high the high quality um, sulforaphane supplements. But sulforaphane activates a pathway in your body called NRF2. That's a major major activator of um, a lot of different genes in our body that get rid of toxic compounds like carcinogens. So like if you're eating, let's say you're eating bacon, you can be exposed mm -hmm. to something called heterocyclic amines, which can cause cancer. Well, activating NRF2 through sulforaphane can stop your body from getting those terrible heterocyclic amines, right? Wow. So it's very good at detoxifying carcinogens, but also other factors like air pollution, benzene that you breathe in, I, I'm concerned with plastic chemicals like BPA, BPS. Uh -huh. I think it's very good at detoxifying that because of, it does the same. Um, it activates pathways that are able to take BPA and make it water soluble because you excrete a lot of BPA through your urine. So wow. that's why I think sulforaphane is okay. very important.